You all probably have heard about Ikigai, right? Because of the best-selling book by Francesc Morales and Hector Garcia, it is quite well known. Ikigai is a Japanese concept that means your reason for being. Iki means life and gai means value. Your ikigai is your life's purpose or happiness. It's what motivates you to get out of bed every day. But there is more to Japanese wellness than just ikigai. Hello guys, here we bring forth four ancient Japanese wellness rituals in this video. Suppose you want to lead a happy, healthy, peaceful life. Watch till the end. I assure you it will be like a warm hug for your soul. If you're new here, please show your support by hitting the subscribe button. Don't forget the bell icon to get further updates. If you find the information valuable, do share it and give me some love by liking it. All cultures have their rituals, some religious, some celebratory, and some related to health. Consistency is essential for achieving long-term health and wellness goals, which is why developing our own set of daily rituals can be so effective. It can be a simple process of lighting a candle when you wake up to prepare for your morning yoga routine or drinking a cup of herbal tea before bed to help you relax. One of the world's highest life expectancies is in Japan, thanks to a traditionally light and well-balanced diet that includes antioxidant-rich foods like seaweed, sweet potatoes, miso, green tea, and small amounts of protein, like fish. The wellness practices that emphasize the mind-body connection are perhaps the most important. It all starts with Kaizen, or forming the habit, emphasizing that making small but consistent changes will significantly impact over time. Start small with your wellness rituals, and you'll be surprised at what you can achieve. Life is accelerating, and so is our way of life. We are stumbling from one task to the next on autopilot, so engrossed in our smartphones and daily tasks that we miss out on life's small pleasures. We've become increasingly disconnected from ourselves and the natural world around us, to the detriment of our health and happiness. Mindfulness has long been recognized as the antidote to autopilot and the key to living a happy and healthy life in Japan. We tend to associate mindfulness with what the Japanese call zazen, sitting cross-legged on a cushion to meditate. However, mindfulness can take many forms for the Japanese, ranging from eating a meal to bathing. For centuries, everyday practices of self-care and self-awareness have been ingrained in Japanese culture. Here is a list of four rituals. The number one position is occupied by Shinrin-yoku, which means taking in the forest atmosphere. It is a Japanese natural practice that has become a worldwide phenomenon reflecting its intense relationship with nature. The stress-relieving technique was developed in Japan in the 1980s as part of a preventative health initiative for the country's growing urban population. Improvements in cardiovascular health and metabolism were observed, as well as a reduction in depression and anxiety. Reconnecting with nature has become an essential component of Japanese wellness practices. The Forest Therapy Society now has 62 official healing forests, with over 1,200 certified guides and 2.5 million people walking the healing forest trails in 2018. The practice harmonizes all five senses, lowers blood pressure, stress, and blood sugar levels, and improves heart health, metabolism, concentration, memory, and energy levels. The phyton side chemical found in cedar and cypress trees is calming and immune-boosting. A study found that spending two days in such forests increased the body's natural killer cell count by 53%. Go outside, whether it's in your garden, on a walking trail near your house, at the beach, or on the beautiful Torrey Pines trails. Some Japanese traditionalists spend more than an hour practicing Shinrin-yoku, Start with just 15 minutes of complete silence. During that time, use all of your senses to explore the natural world around you. Listen to as many different sounds as you can, from buzzing insects to the wind blowing. Feel the ground beneath your feet, take a handful of sand and feel the texture, and fix your gaze on a tree, a blade of grass, or the waves. Take a deep breath and be completely present. Number two on the list is matcha. Tea is consumed to refresh the body, mind, and spirit in Japan. 
The tea drinking ceremony is known as chado. It's a meticulously choreographed ceremony of preparing and sharing a bowl of matcha. It is served with some traditional sweets to balance the bitter taste. The tea master and their guests, fully immersed in the ceremony, temporarily withdraw from the mundane world and share a moment of beauty and serenity. Because of its mental and physical healing properties, matcha tea was prevalent among samurai and Buddhist monks. This powdered green tea is high in antioxidants, vitamin C, L-theanine, and amino acids, which helps with mental focus while also allowing for physical relaxation. Green tea also contains far less caffeine than coffee. A cup of green tea has only 28 milligrams of caffeine. Matcha differs from green tea in several ways. Rather than seeping green tea leaves, the leaves are finely ground into a powder and mixed with one teaspoon to a third cup of hot, but not boiling, water to make matcha. You consume the entire leaf, which contains 137 times more antioxidants per serving than a cup of regular green tea. Green tea can even help boost your metabolism and keep you at a healthy weight. Scientists discovered that this tea contains properties that promote cell rejuvenation, which bodes well for your body and skin. When you consider green tea's antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties, it's easy to see why the Japanese hold it in such high regard. Make a cup a few times a week as part of your morning beverage rotation. Although making matcha tea requires a bamboo whisk and a sifter, it is possible to make it easier. Heat the water until it is just below boiling. In a glass, combine a teaspoon of matcha with a few drops of hot water to make a paste. Stir 13 to 34 cups of hot water to the paste mixture until combined. Play around with the water to match the ratio until you find the right balance for you. So, I have a task for you. Go and get yourself a cup of matcha. Now I hope everyone's sipping their matchas and relaxing. As we head on to number 3, which is Kodo, it translates to the way of incense or the scent road, dating back to the 13th century. The practice, like the tea ceremony, is accompanied by a slew of associated tools and customs. Incense is an essential component of Japanese healing. 70% of all incense is made in Awajishima, a small island southwest of Kobe, by expert incense masters. Kodo is a highly ritualistic practice that involves identifying the aromas of incense. The incense sticks made by the Japanese have taken the world by storm. J Wellness products and techniques are more prevalent in global spa culture. J Wellness's formulas have been updated with a modern twist based on Japan's ancient mind-body practices. As much as Zen is a solitary but fulfilling pursuit of the perfect personal state, the Japanese place a high value on mutual trust and bonding as a means of empowering personal and business relationships. The Japanese government has made Ikiki plazas popular places for people to congregate, meet, and share. Ikiki is concerned with psychological well-being, such as positivity, mood stability, self-acceptance, and life satisfaction. The mandate is to prevent mental disorders. The goal reflects a core Japanese belief. A balance of good, psychological, and physical health is required to compete and win in the world. The fourth position is occupied by harahachibu, a Japanese phrase that means eat until you're 80% full. It originates in Okinawa, where people use this advice to control their eating habits. Surprisingly, they have one of the lowest rates of heart disease, cancer, and strokes, as well as a relatively long life expectancy. The approach is beneficial because it instructs you to stop eating when you're only slightly full. The Japanese eat whole grains and raw fruits and vegetables. After all, sushi isn't served raw for no reason. The Japanese believe that natural foods are healthier. Although boiling and steaming can help maintain vitamins and minerals, raw fruits and vegetables have more nutrients. Another typical Japanese food with surprising health benefits is seaweed which is similar to nori and wakami. However, it is not just what the Japanese eat, but also how they eat it that allows for a well-balanced diet. According to the concept of harahachibu, you should stop eating when you are 80% full. This practice is essential to Japanese wellness because it keeps you satisfied, slim, and healthy. 
This mindful eating style allows people to be more aware of what and how much they eat. When practicing this ancient form of wellness, it is critical to maintaining balance in all aspects of life. The idea behind Harahachibu is to eat to satisfaction rather than fullness. According to research, there is a lag time between when our stomachs reach capacity and when our brains recognize it. Only eating until you are primarily full makes it quickly complete. It allows your brain to catch up with your body, which prevents stomach stretching and the uncomfortable, overfull feeling we sometimes get after eating. Learn to pay attention to your body. Eat half or three quarters of your plate and then wait 30 seconds to see if you're still hungry. It will help to know your body signals and may even help you enjoy your meal more. Keep these thoughts in mind and have a healthy life. I wish everyone good luck.